Hello everybody, this is going to be quick. I just want to show you how to use editor components effectively in your code. Now here's a good example where I need this. Uh, my robot language, which is by the way one of the samples that we'll add to the collection of sample languages that come with MPS distributions. So in this robot language where I manipulate robot walking around some playground, I edit a couple of commands that allow me to modify the playground on the fly. So I can add some wall or I can drop a mark on the ground somewhere. Now if you look at these commands here at the top, you know, the build wall, drop mark, and there are a couple more like pick, uh, pick mark, and again you specify the position of the cell that you want to modify. So si since these commands Although they are different, they have some common grounds, and not only on the abstract syntax level, but also on the editor level, then we will benefit from editor components. Now on the abstract syntax level, uh, build wall for example, well this command here, this one, inherits from abstract builder command, which in turn defines the common properties like the num the index of the row that you want to change and the index of the column you want to change. And all the commands inherit from abstract builder command. So you don't have to repeat the properties whenever you uh, define a new uh, command for changing the playground, for changing the scene. Now on the editor level though, uh, if I want to reuse some parts of the editor like this at row and column. Now instead of defining an editor for each concrete command, you can define an editor for the abstract command. However, that editor, you would have to either re reuse it in the concrete components altogether or you would have to define a new one. If instead what you want is just to define a component that you could then use to build editors for your concrete concepts, but you create an editor component instead. So instead of creating concept editor, you create editor component and voila, you get this. So you get a component in which you then define you know, whatever you want to see on the, on, on the screen and you can refer to the properties of the abstract element. Well and then in the concrete and then in the concrete concept in your editor then you can do your fancy tricks specific to your concrete concept and then you refer and then you refer to the component using you know the, the editor component reference and you pick it from the menu of components that are available and that that's pretty much it so now this allows you to build your editors from reusable components that you may define in abstract predecessors and these components can be, each of them, tied to some properties of the abstract concept that you inherit from. Okay, I promise this will be quick. So it was. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.